The tengma threat is a major threat for many animals out there, including the large whales like humpback whales. Whales get entangled in just about anything. It can be fishing gear, it can be marine debris. The impacts are many. It's the physical trauma of lines cutting through flesh. It's restriction of movement that can drown the animals over time to not allowing them to feed. And if they're dragging that gear, they'll eventually succumb. And yet, throughout the world, there are people that help these animals and gain valuable information towards prevention. My name is Ed Lyman. And I've been working with whales for over 25 years. About 25 years ago, I was actually hired by a small nonprofit whale research and rescue organization on Cape Cod, and the whales started getting entangled. And I was that first apprentice. I moved to Hawaii in 2003, and now I'm the Large Whale and Tent Response Coordinator. People always ask me, are the whales, do they know you're there to help them? And in fact, we can never make that assumption. These whales are, are big animals. We're talking 45 feet long, 40 tons, and it's just not an easy task trying to cut them free. Since we've been doing it, it's been 30 years now, we estimate around 1,300 whales, large whales, have been cut free from life-threatening entanglements. And I used to say in the trainings that we've had no fatalities. But this last summer, we had our first fatality. A fisherman who had become a whale disentangler got hit by a, a right whale, and it was enough that it ended up killing him. It's a reminder to us all, everyone that goes out there that is indeed very dangerous, it needs to be people that know what they're doing, have the right tools, and are authorized by their respective networks. I'm Matt Pickett, and I've been flying aircraft for over 20 years. I was a manned aircraft pilot for NOAA flying a variety of environmental research missions. And about five years ago, I decided to start a nonprofit called Oceans Unmanned with the concept of bringing unmanned tech to ocean protection by using drones launched off the response boats or small support vessels. We can get a better look at the whales, figure out what's going on with less risk to both the responders and the whales. When you get close to a whale that size, you are moving into a danger zone. So what we're doing is the drone gives us the assessment, tells us what we need, and then when we do make an approach, we're making it to cut the animal free. Very efficient and a very good tool to have in the toolbox. Freeing a 40 ton, 45 foot or 15 meter animal is, is a rewarding experience. Using tech for environmental good is a really fantastic feeling. We watch each other and, and try to check our emotions, but there is no denying that it's there. I don't think anyone's under any illusion, or certainly I'm not, that we're gonna just solve this problem overnight or and totally prevent any entanglements from occurring. And that's where drones come in. Minimize our approaches, give us a different view, an aerial view of the gear and the animal and its condition. But it's really more than anything, it's just safety. It, it reduces our risk. Having that drone in the toolbox makes the whole procedure a much safer one. 